Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about gas versus diesel trucks in your mobile welding business. Which should you choose, which should I choose, and um, a little bit of insight basically on what is right for you. Now, uh, I talked about in previous videos about how I think the minimum you should have is a three quarter ton truck. You can, I have a one ton, I do not have the dually, but you can get a dually, and I have a diesel, a Duramax, a 4x4, I'd also recommend getting a 4x4 vehicle, um, that really helps with, you know, if you're in a muddy uh, terrain or you just need to, you know, get out of a, a, if you're in a rut or something, I mean, 4x4 is very valuable, and uh, with gas or diesel, um, I just prefer diesel because of the power, because I don't just have a, a rig in the back of my truck but I also tow things so if you got to tow a trailer full of scrap or something or uh, metal uh, I just like the pulling power power of the diesel engine and it, I think it's it sounds great I personally just like diesels better and, and that's just I will always drive a diesel until they're phased out but uh, I guess the downside of a new newer diesel is the def fluid and all the uh, DPF systems on it, the emission systems that can really be hindering, and diesel's generally more expensive at the pump, especially with all this stuff going on now. Gas is expensive too, but diesel's generally in my area about 25 cents more expensive, so that can be a factor as well. And you got to think about you know the maintenance that goes into diesel vehicles; they're more expensive to maintain. Oil changes are more expensive, fuel filters, the general maintenance of uh, a diesel truck is much more than a gas. And, uh, um, you know, I live in a colder climate where it can get negative 20 sometimes in the winter, and you got to plug that diesel in. If you don't, it'll definitely shorten the life of your diesel truck. So I always plug mine in if it's below freezing. I mean, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's personally if it's I'd say 30 degrees or below, I always plug my truck in. So that's something to consider. If you live in a cold climate and you don't know if you can plug your truck in, um, that's something to consider. So if you want to get a gas vehicle, um, it, it's up to you. And uh, gas vehicles are good. Uh, the diesel, diesels are good too, but you got to make that consideration if you're buying a truck. The older diesels are nice. Um, because they don't have all those emission systems. I think 2006 and prior for the Chevys. And I don't know about the Fords or the Dodges or whatever. But um, GMC and Chevy, I think it was 2006 and previous. They don't have all that emissions crap on it. So that's nice. And uh, they last longer in my opinion. Uh, I've had a 2005 Duramax. I was at like 400 some thousand miles. My current is a 2015 Duramax, uh, has like 90,000 miles on it. Hopefully it'll make it past 200, but I don't know for sure. I don't think it'll make it to 400 like the older diesels, but I, I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But like the 7.3 is a good option. Those are harder and harder to find now. I mean, the older diesels are becoming very difficult to find because it's almost 2022. And that's something also to consider is uh the older diesels the parts are going to be harder to find um it's just going to be harder to maintain them because as time goes on you know they're going to get older and older and less likely you're going to be able to find a good solid one that's working so that's my suggestion if you're just getting started uh, i would start with a gas one if you don't know much about diesels and how to maintain them i'd go with a gas three quarter ton maybe an f250 chevy 2500 gmc or Dodge Hemi but if you really want to stick to the diesel then get a diesel but um, those are just this is just my experience if I had to do it all over again and I was just starting out I'd still probably get a diesel but I would stick with an older diesel to begin with um, that's what I did at my first was a Chevy 2500 HD 2005 Duramax like I said and I got rid of it when it crossed over 400,000 I still sold it for like five or six grand so they hold their value really good but um yeah so just uh, think about what you're gonna be doing if you're gonna be towing a lot and you're gonna use the truck outside of just a welding rig then um, 
maybe get a diesel if you're just going to be having a welding bed in the back of your truck and you don't want to have to worry about expensive maintenance, plugging it in, um, the emission stuff, and uh, the def fluid. If you're going to think about buying a newer diesel, then I would definitely get a gas truck. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, uh, gas trucks can still be pretty solid. I mean, uh, an F-250, even you can get it at even a 350 dually in gas, and although, although it's less common, mostly those are the 6, 7 power, power stroke, or a diesel engine, if you get the dually, most likely that's going to be a diesel option, but uh, you can still find the gas option for the dually, but um, yeah, gas options, um, you just, you start up and go, with the diesel you got to let it warm up for 5 to 10 minutes in the brutal cold, that's what I do. Uh, before I even drive it and you, you know it's just there's a lot that goes into owning a diesel vehicle that many people don't think about so if it, like I said if you're just starting out uh, and don't get me started on the price either you know diesels are much more expensive just in general um, when you first buy them so a gas truck is probably gonna be ten fifteen thousand dollars cheaper brand new than a brand new diesel and it also depends on the packages you get for example, the uh, the Ford, you can get the XL, XLT, the Lariat, the King Ranch, etc., etc. For a work truck, I just have the basic work truck, the HD work truck. Um, you don't really need anything special unless you got that money to spend and you want to spend it. I think an XL or XLT, I'm just taking the Ford, for example, or the Chevy, the work truck, or the LT. You don't really need the LTZ or High Country. Um, Unless you really want it, like I said, and you have that money. But that you're going to be paying a pretty penny for that kind of stuff. And, I mean, that comes up with loaded all the features. You know, the heated seats, the cooled seats, the big uh, GPS infotainment screen. And, like, the Ram has that huge one now with the limited package. But you're looking brand new. Those trucks are over 80 grand. And the same version of the gas is probably, like, 70. So are you really willing to pay an extra $10,000, $15,000? for a diesel diesel engine option and uh, if you want to get the diesel I would go with the XL or the lower base model like I did and uh, it's a lot cheaper you don't really need all those bells and whistles for a work welding truck it's nice to have but if if you don't need it then why would you get it why would you spend the extra money ten fifteen twenty thousand dollars for some of these high-end packages when you really aren't going to use half the features that they offer I mean, I have the work truck and I connect a Bluetooth thing and I can still listen to music. I have a, a separate GPS and then I can pretty much do everything I need to do with my work truck that I need it to do. But, um, so just don't cheap out and get a, you know, a crappy uh, truck just because it's a really good deal. But get a decent truck that's going to last you a while, but consider all the options. Don't rush into a decision. Don't rush into... Uh, buying a truck look all over the place I probably looked for a whole year before I bought this truck and I looked for a really good deal and uh, I talked the dealership down and I bought it cash so um, just don't don't rush into buying a vehicle don't think you got to get it today unless it's a killer deal but you know explore the market and ve vehicles are, even now in this market are way more expensive just in general because of all the shortages so yeah, just shop around, um, consider all options, do your research on all that kind of stuff. There's tons of videos on YouTube, and there's tons of tips on the web about, um, you know, picking the right truck and the pros and cons. There's tons of truck reviews out there, and, uh, you know, take a bunch for a test drive. I think I probably test drove 10 before I bought this one, and, um... Uh, yeah, I, I tried gas vehicles, I tried diesels, I tried Ram, GMC, Chevy, Ford, I tried them all. And this is the one I decided with because it fit my budget and also it's what I was looking for in a truck. So, like I said, take your time, uh, don't rush into anything, and really do your thorough research on the truck you want to buy. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.